Now, as many of you know, many leaders of the past have had a particular part of their imagery that makes them stand out, something unique to them. Hitler had the moustache, Lenin had the bald head, Stephen Hawking has the wheelchair. These brutal dictators of the past have something about their imagery that makes them stand out and to be feared. And that's why I've gone with my own. The Monobrow. This is the start of my new regime, and it's going to take place on Rome Total War. Welcome to the new regime, and in this episode I've decided that in Rome Total War we're going to create a new master race of bald men. That's it. It's just going to be bald men only. If you have hair, you're gone. Now, first of all, let's take a look into our family. Okay, let's see who we have to purge. Now, women have to, are going to have hair either way, so they're okay. Children are okay as well, because all children have hair. Nothing you can do there. These people with helmets, I'm going to assume they're bald on the inside of the helmet, uh, so they're okay. If I can see a bit of hair, though, they're gone. And people like this guy, he's just not going to fit into society. I think people like this need to be put down. Hair, it should not be a thing. And it's the same for their, um, you know, his quartermaster as well and all that stuff. So we don't have to reorganise our empire uh, to create a master race of bald men. <laughs> Faction hair. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm going to... Um, who shall I make for heir? I'm actually going to give it to this guy. And this one here, he needs to die. Alright, uh, this person here has a drill master. It's not much hair, but it does have hair. So, we've got to uh, swap the... Give it to him, and now... Yes, he has the hair, good. And we'll send him on a little suicide mission to this rebel settlement. We'll actually give him some troops as well. Ah, good, our diplomat is bald also. Good. Alright, time to attack our first settlement. The objective is to take the settlement and kill this hair weirdo here. Right, this should teach him for being born with hair to charge into a phalanx. It's not charging into the front, but it's still charging into one. If you can get a few kills, I guess that's good, but the, the more important objective is that he dies. That comes first. No, no, he fled. Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> Men with hair, what cowards, always fleeing from battles. And look at this, this bald guy here, no, he fought to the end and won. That's how you fight. That's proof that everything I say with this regime is true. Behind those helmets, I bet these men have hair. You can tell. Yep, exterminate all of those with hair. Diplomat of Macedon, let us speak. Bald man to bald man. Let's get an alliance. Ah, there we go. See what happens when everyone's bald? So much peace. He's got a bit of a beard, but that's okay. Ah, a new family member have, has come of age. Good, I've got a special job for him. His job is to build watchtowers along the border to make sure that no one escapes the regime. Out of respect of my fellow bald man, Antigonus of Sparta, I have decided to let the settlement be. No, 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 that's still hair. I see it there. I see it. No, he's not allowed. No, no, I will never make a deal with a man with hair. No. To punish him for his hair, he must siege Sparta alone. Yes! He's dead. We finally got him. We finally got the hair man killed. Oh, now he's bald. Now that he's dead, he's bald. <laughs> All this Brutus, he has learnt for his crimes. Even the Senate is corrupted. Look at all this hair. No, we cannot accept this. We must go to civil war. 
Yeah. Is that hair? I think that's hair. Accept or we attack. Then it's war with Thrace. Hmm. We appear to have run out of money and crawled on to actually build anything. I wonder why that is. <laughs> We've done it. No man with a head of hair is ever getting in or out of the regime. Ah. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll definitely accept him into the family. There we go. And another child has come of age. And he's a smart one as well. He's got a helmet on. So we can't tell either way. But I'm going to assume that he's bald. Because only a bald man would be that smart. Bring me a bald man. And I'll accept. Simple. We must get to those Marmion reforms quicker. I've decided to sacrifice a load of peasants at Tarentum. Whatever it takes. We've landed our troops in Egypt. Our goal is to take the pyramids. Only once we take the pyramids can we make baldness a true cult. And the pyramids will become the temple of the bald. No! No! I've got a new son. But he has hair. No! <sighs> We've got to set an example. I am sorry to my child, but it had to be done. It has to be done. We've got to purge it out of the family. And all of the families as well. Men with hair should not be allowed to breed. We've got to kill it now. No, don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Archers. Greek archers fire. Hmm. Wait a minute, he's boarded the ship. Right, this could actually be a good idea. Control. Oh, we've got to be in port to disband. Wait, we might be able to do that. Okay, here's what I'm going to try and do. First of all, get this stupid fleet out of my way. I actually lost... Ah. Oh. Well, we can still get in there anyway. And now, disband the fleet. And it pops out the other end. Ah, oh, this is going to be annoying. He's tougher and smarter than we thought. <laughs> yes, Siege Memphis. <laughs> ah, we've taken Memphis. Good job, soldiers, good job. Remember, a bold man never fails. And now we have the Pyramids of Egypt. We can now start the cult of bald men. And they'll all gather at the pyramids. It's gonna be beautiful. Alright, it should definitely die this time. We got him. We got him killed. Good job, rebel soldiers. Good job. Hmm, the Greeks have put us under siege. Let's send the two boldest men to save the day, because in the end, that's all what you really need. Meanwhile, in Tarentum, I think it's time to make a sacrifice. Ah, wonderful, we're so close now. Witness the true power of bold men. See, they just don't die on the battlefield. It's that simple. Bold men never die. Easy win, and all we needed was a couple of bold guys. That's it. These two generals were feeling particularly bold this day, and so they decided to make a march to take the entire Eastern Mediterranean. They're bold men. They can only succeed. You'd think they'd learn by now, I'll never make a deal with a man with hair. Rip my fellow bold guy. 
Nest in peace. Yes, I'm, I'm assuming he's bald under all of that, but um, I'll accept that. Yep, he's bald, I accept. It's as simple as that. Oh, come on, that was a bit unfair. Well, I think these two bald guys are dead. Yeah, they're dead. We had another bald uh, grandson, so yeah, he's got to die. To a bald man, hopefully, as well. It would set an example across the rest of our faction. <laughs> Instant retreat. <laughs> They fought the battle for like one second and then instantly retreated. Uh, hair causes cowardice. And dead. I finally got him. Good job, Greece. Good job. And so it comes down to this. All of our bold men have found themselves stuck in a settlement. But not to worry. They're bold. And that gives them strength. They will defeat this Greek army, chase them back, and take all of their territory. Well, first of all, these peasants have hair, so they have to die first. Kill all the peasants that have hair. Kill them all. Oh, it's beautiful to see. Right, remember, bald men, we're immortal. Everything your regime has told you, everything you've done, all that shaving of your head comes down to this. You are immortal. Charge through the phalanxes, soldiers, charge through. No. No! No! My fellow bald men! Melkor's Log, 256 BC, which by the way stands for Bald Cat. The attempt to create a master race of bald men has failed. But the regime lives on in us. The mission in Rome told to war was a failure but it will continue in other forms. The human experiments have been covered up. No one will ever know. Our race would go down in Greek history as being truly the weirdest thing in Greek mythology. Have you ever wanted to be a part of a fascist regime where people tell you what to do, you've got to constantly worship the leader? Well, you're in luck. Join my Discord today, and I promise you, you will have no freedom of speech. Join my Discord, and prepare to have all your human rights completely taken away. Trust me, I cannot sell this enough. It comes with its own set of rules, where you have to worship me, and it even comes with a worship section as well, dedicated for people to put milk cart emojis in there. Express how much they love their one true God, myself. Join my Discord today.